who's Lyrica? Um, she's the master of all masters in human form, choosing to not embody in the way most humans embody. Um, giving her a label doesn't feel right. I just love to look in her eyes and she she is my shamanic journey <laughs> when I connect to her spirit she knows how to go between the veils be in the other realms and then distill things and bring them back for us she's someone I guess I've always known Gail's a translator for Lyrica of higher vibrations bringing it into a language that we can understand in our humanness and our, let our minds come on board. Um, and I've watched their system between the two of them for many hours. And I'm 100% understanding that it's perfect communication system to bring Lyrica's vibration into our languaging system to translate it so we can receive it. In my work with my mentor, I knew I had a bigger purpose to do, but I was not embodied enough to be able to help humanity in the 3D world the way I felt I could in sharing my light and love. Many people shy away from the word ascension. Ascension belongs to everyone. And the light coming into the planet now is allowing us to make our ascension journey without having to die. It's mainly about finding our true essence and gifts and bringing them back home to our families and communities as supports for their journeys. It demos even someone like me who began life, you could say, far behind the starting line of most, without a speaking voice and little connection to my body, could rise up to find the abilities, even superpowers, that belong to all but are known by few. I am a unifier of many worlds and realities who has learned the truth of my own being here to open up a similar truth, knowing in others. I am now supported by a very large group of planetary leaders in the highest cosmic zones. And for many months, we've been meeting at night in my sleep time travels to orchestrate a light delivery system to ensure Earth's survival and platform to thrive as human divine. Beans. Phew. Wow. <laughs>